Hi kids, welcome to Sunday School. I trust that you have had an amazing week. So today's lesson will be very interesting. It is about the road to a mouse and Jesus ascending into heaven. So I hope you have your notebook, pen and Bible as we jump straight into the lesson. Remember to like, subscribe and share this lesson and hit the notification bell. So welcome. Praise God, boys and girls. Welcome once again to Sunday School Live. We are so blessed to have you. It's always an honor. Welcome as we go into the lesson, the Word of God. Let us believe and pray. When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, I bow my head, and then we pray. God, we bless you this morning for giving us the gift of life. Thank you, God, for your word for today. Help us to learn and understand your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Today we are going to be learning about a story in the Bible, a road to Emmaus and the ascension of Jesus back into heaven. And this story we are going to get from the word of God. The book of Luke chapter 24, verse 13 to 35. And then we go to verse 50 to 53. And uh, this is how the story goes. A few days after Jesus' resurrection, two of his disciples were on their way to a small village called Emmaus. This was Cleopas and his friend. We are not told his friend's name. As they walked along on the road, they were discussing about sad things that had happened to Jesus, how he had been crucified, how, that, how, how the nails had been driven into his hands, how he had died such a painful death. They were talking about these things to one another. As they walked along, Jesus joined them, but they didn't recognize that it was Jesus who had joined them. And so they walked on ahead. Jesus asked them, What are you people talking about? Cleopas looked at Jesus and asked him, Are you the only visitor in Jerusalem? Don't you know about Jesus of Nazareth, how he was crucified, how he was buried? And even this morning, when the women went to the tomb, they found the tomb was empty. Jesus looked at them, shook his head, and told them, How foolish are you not to believe the things that were written in the word of God by the prophets? These things were supposed to happen. Jesus was supposed to suffer. Jesus was supposed to be crucified and die for the sins of many. As they neared the village of Emmaus, Jesus acted as, he, as if he was going a little bit further. And uh, by this time, it was getting a little bit late. Darkness was fast approaching. So he bid them goodbye. But the two, Cleopas and his friends, they insisted. They called him back. Come back. Why don't you go tomorrow? Come and spend the night with us. Come and have dinner with us. So they invited him over to their house. When dinner was brought, Jesus took the bread. He blessed it and he broke it and gave it, gave, gave it to them to eat. When they finished eating, they discovered to, to, to their surprise, they were amazed to realize that this was Jesus. It was the habit of Jesus to break bread to them. This was Jesus whom they had talked to, uh, they had talked to, they had walked with. And as their eyes were opened to understand that this was Jesus, Jesus actually vanished. He disappeared. They couldn't trace him. They tried looking about in the house, but he was not there. They were shocked, surprised, and excited. So they ran off to find the other disciples and tell them the good news. They ran off. A few days later, 
Jesus gathered all his disciples to Mount Zion, Mount Olives. And there he blessed each and every one of them. And he was talking about going back to their father, going back to heaven. The disciples were sad. They wondered how they would make it without Jesus. They wondered who, who would uh, become their helper. But Jesus promised them, I will not leave you. I will give you a helper. And that helper was the Holy Spirit. After blessing them, Jesus ascended back to heaven. To ascend is to go upwards. So Jesus went upwards into heaven and they could no longer see him. They were left not alone, but with a helper, the Holy Spirit of God. So boys and girls, what do we learn today? Jesus is the bread of life. We have a helper who is the Holy Spirit. Jesus made a promise to them that I will be with you to the end of the age. Jesus is with us even in these tough times when we are at home, when we have corona in our country, when you feel that things are not working out, Jesus will never leave you. Jesus will never forsake you. He said, I will be with you till the end of the age. I hope you have been blessed. Right about now, I want us to go to our crafts. We have two crafts. The first one, we are going to be coloring the, the two friends, the two disciples, Cleopas and his friend, on their way to Emmaus when they were joined by Jesus. And the second one, we are going to be coloring Jesus ascending back into heaven. Join us as we do this. I am coloring Jesus ascending to heaven.
I hope you enjoyed the crafts. And now it's time uh, before we go to our memory verse. If you would wish to have this craft, Jesus ascending into heaven, if you would wish to have it, color it from home, you can drop any time in our church offices, collect it. Maybe you can tell your, 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 your mom, your dad, your big brother, your big sister or your guardian to pick it for you. Come for it, color it, and you're going to be blessed. Uh, we go to our today's memory verse. God bless you. Memory verse. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 and it says I am with you always to, to the end of the age. I hope you had fun learning about the road to Emmaus and the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Let us now bow down our heads for a word of prayer as we wind up the lesson. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless you that you are the bread of life. Thank you that you promise us in your word, in Matthew 28 and verse 20, that you are with us till the end of times. Lord, in these times, I pray for each, each and every boy and girl that you are going to be with them. Protect them, God. Take care of them. Take care of their families, their brothers, their sisters, their mummies and their daddies, their friends, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next time.